Hi everyone, thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks for checking out the research. Amazing findings on the lunar surface. So this is a very real research video where I'm sharing my findings on the surface of the moon. I found a being up there. What is this? Let's start by this. Welcome everyone. This is a square rectangle. So we're looking at geometrical shapes, colors, atmosphere, and UFOs on the surface in live footage. Here in x-ray, we can see another the same thing, but another perspective of that square. It's very reflective, looks like a solar panel. I'm, you know, like playing the game charades. I'm just trying to sound out, you know, um, what we're looking at. That's built. It's not natural, that's for sure. It's totally out of place. Um, it's very, very out of place. Watch the arrows here more panels, rectangles, facing another angle. These objects are constructed. It's, it's so obvious and it's not pixelation. Very clear shot here that we see some haze again in the right. And that haze is the most interesting thing in the entire lunar surface, on the entire lunar surface. I'm telling you, that haze is something that is being put there. Okay, we'll see UFO spraying in a minute uh, from a very different perspective that I got myself. And these are all real UFOs. Uh, what is a UFO, right? It's an unidentified flying object. So we're seeing things going by natural or not, debris or not. I'm showing you what I'm finding. You be the judge. Look at what we're looking at. 90 degree angles, connections, and oh, what's this? It looks like another rectangle that's pointed to another area. Very reflective light coming from that again on the surface. Minute details, everyone has to do. certain wavelengths that our eyes just simply cannot see but with certain devices we can see signs of them sometimes is the displacement of air or molecules around them look at the ufos that i found on the surface these are ufos that i find every single time i go up there and if i go back and look in this footage i will find more i'm not making it up it's real it's all recent by the way the past few months that have gone by and let me tell you I have a lot of footage I'm like a Canadian squirrel I have to accumulate so much footage for the cold winter months <laughs> sometimes it's hard to get the moon another but there's hey there's some good to the winter this is Mare Crisium the Crisium Basin beautiful colorful surface the white spot at the bottom is Proclus Crater its rays are supposed to cross right into Mericrisium and they go out many hundreds of miles. Very interesting area. So all this beautiful stuff up there. Yes, uh, sorry, I'm changing the subject again. On the surface of the moon, we can get so much nice detail 
on cold days in the winter in Canada because it cuts the disturbance down even more. Someone is up there on the moon. Some type of being, human or alien. And they're producing something, hypothetically speaking, because of course I have no proof of this. I do have proof that they're up there though. That's the thing. Nobody can deny that. Many people are anyways, whether it be jealousy or whatever. I don't really care because the proof is there. People are starting to wake up to the fact that aliens exist. It's actually funny now that I think of it today that people could actually think that aliens do not exist. With the quantity of stars, galaxies, planets, nebulae, black holes, portals, and millions of other objects and elements and things that we don't know about space. It's all a mystery to us. We're like in the beginning of time and science. We're not advanced at all. Plato Crater, another colorful surface. Transient lunar phenomenon is what NASA uses as a term for the object behind there. It is said that this area has colors and sort of mysterious electrical colorful gases, gas-like uh, smoke or haze on the surface, like an aurora borealis, you know, the electrical green. Well, that's what you see. And um, along with all these objects, again, we've been seeing all week objects in unison side by side. And unless you zoom up real close, we're not going to see them. So now we're going to go over to the UFO research side of my channel with the 14 inch and even with my four inch Celestron 127 SLT, I had gotten some UFOs, but the UFOs I was getting were UFOs that were between earth and the moon. This and shown by descending the exposure are UFOs that are pressed up against the surface. We do also see, and I'll show you further on as we progress through this frame and other frames that the shadows of these UFOs could possibly be appearing on the surface because we have objects that are simultaneously following each other, uh, a bigger and smaller object like we see here that actually looks like a shadow that is actually on the surface. Notice the clouds or hazes on the surface, guys, okay? There's an atmosphere up there. Underneath, there is a beautiful, colorful moon surface. It's magnificent and these are not blurs they are a clouded surface we're actually very lucky to get those clouds this clear and that's the thing and the more we walk in I, I, the more we zoom in sorry i could see them pressed up against archimedes crater the clouds and they're billowing over the edge of the crater and not just archimedes crater i've shown plato crater uh, copernicus crater all these structures around them and colors. And what's this? Yeah, it could be debris. Absolutely. It could be something totally natural, but still it's something that's up there. So I'm seeing many different types. Do you see that these objects are going under the cloud cover or smoke cover or haze cover? We could see them. They all have different shapes. Um, and I'll show you later on in the video, UFOs that are going in different directions to one another. It's all very real and they're actually going underneath that cloud cover. I've showed blinking lights like this one. Here is absolutely one of my favorites. This is exactly alongside Clavius Crater and we're seeing it in x-ray, which I haven't showed it in x-ray this one yet. This is pretty cool. Notice the little lights in the center of most of these black or clouds or dark objects, but don't forget they're, they're clouds. The x-ray is showing it to us dark so we can see them um, more of the quantity of UFOs that is in one frame. And by the way, they are going in different directions. So there's a spraying, like the UFO is, you see a gas behind it or smoke or haze behind it. Now watch the lights. I mean, there's so much going on in this footage. Look, look at this. Now you're seeing the black line, which is really a white smoke that we see when it's uh, before it's filtered with the x-ray. And again, on the surface, the black spot to the left is Clavius Crater. So 
you know, if you want to know where they are, they're there. And that is giving you an idea of how many are on the surface. We're not talking about just one UFO and once in a while, they're always there. Thank you.